Okay. Question 45. The area of the circle not drawn to scale is 27 centimeters squared. What is the area of the shaded region? This is showing 100 and it seems like probably 150 degrees or something. Not very clear, but anyway. If it's 150 degrees, then it's less than 180 degrees. So it's less than half the area of the entire circle. The area is 27. Half of 27 is what, 13 and a half, 13.5. It should be less than 13.5 if it's 150 something degrees. Because you have a total in the circle of 360 and the fact is 180 is half if it is less than half then it's less than 180 degrees and this seems to be 150 something less than 180 degrees so here when we look at this question we see it should be less than 13.5 certainly not D not D, not C, because these are too large. This is exactly 13.5. It has to be less. So it should be A. Question 45 should be A. Without even calculating it. Question 45 is A. Alright? But it seems like 150 or 158 or something. But anyway. Let's look at question 46. Erase these um, rough work. The size of parallelogram are 12 cm and 5 cm. If one of the diagonal is 13, then the area, its area is, should be area, they, they write A R E, what should be A R E A. So, parallelogram. Let's get an idea of what we're looking at first. This is 12. This is 5, this is 12, 13, one of, one of its diagonals is 13. Now, what would be the area? Well, in this case, you know that the height by the width, 5, 12 is 60, right? Let's also investigate further. 12 squared plus 5 squared would be 144 plus 25, which would be 169. You know, the square root of 169 is 13. It seems as if this parallelogram is really a rectangle and 12 by 5 is 60. So question 46B, question 46 is B. Right. It's really a rectangle they're talking about. Because if you don't remember that the rectangle is a parallelogram, you might be tricked or something. Alright. Let's look at Question 47. The diagram shows a cylinder of radius 3, height 8. The volume in cm cube is. Well, you know that the volume of the cylinder is pi r squared h. That means the area of the face by the height. So it is pi times. 3 squared times 8. 3 squared is 9 and 9 by 8 is 72. So it's 72 times pi. So question 47 C. Question 47 answer is C. You can see that. Question 48. Let me erase these. 
it says you have 5 by 2x minus y minus 2 by 3y minus 5x is let's multiply them out 5 by 2 is 10 so 10x 5 by negative y is minus 5y negative 2 times 3y is a negative 3 to 6y negative 2 times negative 5x is a positive 2 5 10x like terms together 10x and 10x so you have 10x plus 10x y is together minus 5y minus 6y 10x and 10x is 20x even before once you put you see that once you put the 10 and x and 10x together you get 20x so you know this would be the answer but let's finish it anyway negative 5 minus 6 is 11 so 2x minus 11y question 48 d so question 48 answer here is d all right then let's look at question 49 let's erase these question 49 what is the simple interest on $150 for 8 months at 2.5% per annum alright you know that there's a formula, but we won't use the formula now. If you have $150, if it's for a year, the interest would be 2.5%. Uh, let me write it here. 2.5 per mean divide, cent mean 100, off means multiply 150. If it's a full year. So what you have is... 10 into 150, 15, 10 into 100, 10. 5 into 10 is 2, 5 into 15 is 3. So 2.5 by 3 over 2. So 2, 3 is 6, plus half of 3, 1.5, 6, 7.5 over 2. Right? 7.5 over 2. No. That's it. Simple interest. Seven and a half over two. Now let's see what happens here. This is what is seven and a half over two? Seven and a half over two is uh, two into two one two into seven goes three times and one two into fifteen. It's two points on me. Two and fifteen. Two, two, three, two, six, twelve, two, seven, fourteen. It's three point seven five, something like that. All right. No, three dollars seventy-five, and it's less than a year, so it should be less than three dollars seventy-five. No, even before we go into the calculation, we could have looked and said one fifty, thirty. Compared to 150, it's 3 over 5, 30 over 150 is 3 over 15, which is 1 fifth. That's 20% already, so it should be smaller than that. It's going to be small money. Alright, but I want to look at the exact maths here. It should be, so it, it can't be 30, 15, or 3,000. It has to be a much smaller number right so in many cases they provide you with a way to get the answer quickly instead of going through the calculation but let's still go through the calculation here three and three quarter times eight twelfth of a year eight over twelve this is what four trees twelve twenty one fifteen over 4 times 4 into 
prime to 15 3 right so 3.75 3 and 3 quarter 4 3 is 12 24 and 15 over 4 multiply by 8 12 8 12 I put 8 10 first it should be 8 12 4 into 8 all right, 4 into 8 is 2, 4 into 12 is 3, 2 into 2, 1, 2 into 4, 2, 15 over 2 times 1 third, 3 into 3, 1, 3 into 15, 5, 5 over 2, 2.5, whatever that is, but you see from early that the answer would have to be 8, all right, it would have to be 8, it's 2.5 percent, 5 over 2 is 2.5. But how you could detect that, as I said before, is to say that you have $150, 2.5%, very small amount, for 8 months. Now, you have 30, 53,000. Definitely, it can't be 3,000. 3,000 is way out. Very big number. Now, if you should invest $150 and get $30, what interest would you have to invest at? 30 over 150 divide 303, 1315, 5, 1 That's 20%. It's way out, way over the 2.5%. So, it, much less than 30 and much less than 50, it has to be. 2.5 so question 49 a definitely but anyway you see that in many of these cases when it comes to percentages they usually give two ridiculous answers you can dismiss early but in this case you have three ridiculous answers you could dismiss early necessarily have to go through the calculation but you could dismiss those ridiculous answers early but anyway We'll break here and we we'll continue with question 50 later on.